Hello and welcome to the last of the Aurora tours. This is the Aurora CL. It is classed as a mercantile vessel. It is 19 meters in length still. It's a little bit heavier at 75 uh, 160 kilograms instead of 7550. Still has a crew of one and the cargo capacity is still t uh, well it's actually higher by 10. It's 23 but that's because this is a mercantile class vessel. It has one tier 3 uh, primary fester as all the other ones do. This one actually looks very different though and I don't know why. I think it's just the ship model. It still has eight tier one maneuvering thrusters. It's got a size two power plant. Two size two fixed mounts, apparently. But if we go up here, yep, they're known as the size ones. And these are all taken, so there's nothing like there. It has uh, the availability to put a size two pylon on top, like the other one which would be convenient. It's still got size 2 shields, but one thing that this thing does have is a jump point scanner, which is very interesting because you could use it as exploration and still carry some cargo around in it. Also another thing I find really cool is the color scheme. I don't like it as much as the color scheme of the LN, but it's still up its second place because it's, I mean, the second most colorful one. The gold and blue it's very nice. And uh, I mean, like, it's generally the same. This little bar here is colored, which is a nice feature. This is colored as well. Uh, the cargo would still clip in under here. I, d I like the look of that back engine. I haven't seen it in action, though. I haven't actually flown this ship. But let's take a look inside. Let's see what's actually different in here compared to the other ones. Ooh, is that a different seat? I don't know. Let's take a look in the bed. Is it just me or does that bed look a little bit more comfortable than the other ones? I think it's just me. Has this still got the window? Place your bets. Yes, it does. Perfect. Hop out here. your nose. Let's hop into the driver's seat so we can get a better look at the outside of this thing. Oh, and it's the same seat. Oh, except there's a harness there. I can't imagine that we'd actually do up the harness now, would we? No, we did not. We're just kind of sitting in it. Of course we are. Why would we ever want to do up a harness? So yeah, I do, I really, I quite like the color scheme. It's actually more brown and blue, isn't it? Especially from that angle. But, hey, it's good. Let's hop out of here. And see these great animations again. It's gonna pull us out? No, thank goodness. Let's try the other side. This is so good. So, I mean, like, the CL, you have to understand, it is the most expensive of the Aurora variants. And I mean, it's not the most armed, but I guess it's maybe it's just because it has that jump point scanner. But I mean like the way I see it, if you're gonna if you're gonna buy an Aurora, you should still maybe buy the LN because it's still got the cargo. Um, but it's it's also better armed and you'll be able to defend yourself. That's my thought. So this is just a short one today, but I, I thanks thank you so much for watching. 
please stay tuned for more. Talk to you in a bit. Bye-bye.